These two Westlake Junior High students have had their share of disappointments in life. Jasmine Maurice has had to change cultures and languages multiple times. I left to Mexico because my mom passed away, so I went to live with my dad. Uh, I went to school over there for about four years, uh, not knowing Spanish, but I had to learn it. I came back over here in sixth grade and I left again and I came back for eighth grade. Davion Jones was already playing high school basketball in another state, but then his family had to resettle in Utah and that placed Davion back in junior high. Mr. Spencer helped me get on the team because he saw how tall I was. So. Uh, I end up talking to the coach, I made the team here, then I end up going to Granger, the high school across the street, and uh, making the team there. So I just played high school basketball as a ninth grader. Tough stories, but not unusual outcomes for one of Utah's most diverse schools. There is great pride in tradition at Westlake Junior High School. All here are natives, native to this land or to one of many others. At this annual celebration, Westlake students, families, and neighbors gather to drink deeply from their traditions, mingled with those from across the world. The main purpose of our multicultural fair is to represent all the magical and wonderful cultures we here have at Westlake. Um, we have a a variety of various cultures. We represent all the seven continents uh, in the world. What it does for our community, it, is, it allows us to bring the parents in, bring families in, to have a night here at Westlake when they're exposed to cultures that they don't normally have a lot of exposure to. It allows us to break down some walls because we get to know each other. Today, we have an odd schedule, so you need to pay attention. You'll go, you're obviously in your first grade now. Where's your hot pass? Right there, sure. just real quick. Thank you, sir. CRT testing, let's do it. As a student, Ken Hopkins was one of only three blacks attending this school in 1970. Now, he is in charge of professional learning at Westlake Junior High. Uh, diversity is, is a unique thing and it is something that when the kids, once they get to know each other, um, it allows them, we get a lot of um, kids that become friends that they never would have otherwise met these people. So diversity in our sense just adds enrichment to our school and we think the diversity is really one of our strengths. Paul Massimer, a math teacher at Westlake, instructs by application. Today we're doing a, uh, a project where the students uh, are communicating silently. In other words, they're not vocally expressing themselves. They're participating in groups or teams. What they're doing is building a structure out of paper and toothpicks only. Well, they were building a, a tower or some kind of structure that will support books, as many as possible. The question of the day, how many books can a structure of paper support? These Westlake students engineer a variety of approaches, but as in most things in life, the simpler, the better. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. 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 It's leading. The other was I think we have a fantastic staff. Um, Westlake, if people didn't want to be here, they would transfer. And I think the, the staff that is here is very, very committed to our students. Um, they come in knowing what they're getting into for the most part. Um, we have a lot of teachers that have stayed here for 15, 20, 30 years. At Westlake, you will also see cutting edge skills such as power teaching. Teach. Okay. Okay. Perfect. A method social studies teacher Katherine Humphreys has adopted that helps keep students engaged in the class. Power teaching is something that was developed by a guy named Chris Biffle and it's designed to get the students more involved so you can tell that they're actually engaged. Most of the time when you say how do you know a student is listening to you? They're looking at you. How many times do you space off and you're looking at someone? So it's designed to have them clapping, moving around, talking to their partner because they're teaching their partner something. And when you teach something, you get to know it a lot better. 
So not only are they engaged with the teacher, they're engaged with the other students in the class. I did a little experiment with my first two tests with this specific semester class. My first test, I did power teaching with vocabulary and I had them te partner teach. And the lowest score I think was probably a 16 out of a 20. And then the next time we didn't do any power teaching at all for the entire unit, took the test and I had single digit numbers. Behind all of this is a man with a vision. While Principal Ike Spencer knows the strengths of the school as a whole, he is primarily concerned with students and families that struggle. How was the day? How was the day? How did it work out today? There's a socioeconomic factor that we have to deal with, but I still think that parents drop their kids off here every day, religiously, with the hopes that we're going to make a change in their life, that we're going to break that cycle. I mean, I have kids here from every country in the world, so it's important for them to understand that I care about where they're from, what they're about, and that kind of thing. I just really believe that uh, that old adage, people don't uh, care what you know till they know that you care. And I think any of these kids, when they find out that we care about them, they strive hard to achieve just to, just to make us happy. I need you to pull out your weather chart. I think, I think all kids have a desire to, uh, to, to get an education and, and, and to be successful. I think just as educators, we just got to find out what that is. And sometimes teachers and counselors can achieve things that even parents can't do. Também está sendo muito bem na classe de história e estou feliz por ver que na classe de leitura has avançado muitíssimo. School counselors, as well as many teachers and staff here, speak multiple languages. Não digo em espanhol, pero é gostis group, como o gordito. Isso é bonito. Era essa. Lhe gosta o teatro? Sim, me gosta. Westlake provides services such as before and after school homework help in the school library. And each school day, the school serves breakfast to hundreds of students, all of which help support students and their families with individual work schedules and other demands. Parents of students can also receive free education in Westlake's Parent Center, where adult family members can receive training in computer skills, language training, Look at these things, please. Corn flour, sugar. Health and diet information. And crafts. And what we do is the uh, family center here, we do parenting classes, we do computer classes for, they can learn the basic skills of computer. They can also learn the grade book for the kids can come in and learn their, look up their grades. We have an English class that they learn basic English classes and they learn, earn a certificate. We have volunteers that volunteer all the time through the lunches and, and then they can bring their children. They don't have to worry about getting a babysitter. And we do um, parenting classes, collaborating with the community. They also volunteer and help do the mobile market. In and out of the building, Westlake Junior High offers academics and activities that appeal to the broad interests of its students, including athletics, dance, and theater. All of this is part of the mortar that holds the Westlake Junior High community together. In fact, that mortar was the inspiration for the school's centerpiece. This mosaic, comprised of 540 tiles, was created over the past six years by Westlake students, whose families come from every continent in the world. Yes, and the things that connect, as we looked at uh, recreation and dance, how many of these are cross-culture and are done all across the whole world? So each year as students prepare for technical classwork, as they explore the arts, and present colorful posters representing the nations where they or their families originated, they realize that each student is a seam in the social tapestry that makes Westlake Junior High School.